Hey everybody, welcome to the Radicum Ladder. Today we're going to talk about the fate of Johnny Somali. Here we have a little tweet from Asia Dawn, Asian Dawn, saying the Japanese government will hold him for 28 days. In that time, they will s deprive him of sleep and interrogate him until he confesses. Japan has a 99% conviction rate, and then he'll get sentenced to three years in jail. Deport him back to America. And there is no early or good behavior parole in Japan. I say good riddance. This guy completely deserved it. What a low IQ. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm allowed to say on YouTube with the term service anymore these days. Believe me, I have, I have the worst insults in mind right now. How dare you? I, I see there's comments from black people in Japan saying how bad it is now because this is just create worse stereotypes for them. Why would you do it, Johnny Somali? Why would you... this? So for those out of the loop, he would uh, go up to people on the train and start asking them about Hiroshima. Or Hiroshima and the other the other city we bombed, and ask him what they thought about it, amongst other things. He was very much rude to people in Japan. He and he was live streaming all this. He was monetizing. He was being a predator to the Japanese politeness, abusing their politeness for profit. Until he walked onto a construction site wearing a zombie skull mask, wherein he was arrested by police. Good riddance. If you guys like this type of content and coverage, leave a like down below, subscribe, and tell me what you think about Johnny Somali. Do you support his him being freed? Do you think three years is not enough time? Let me know in the comments.